Okay, so um, Nancy called me one Friday night afternoon, afternoon. Um, to tell me to do my job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because I was not doing something that uh, she was responsible for. And um, but because it was Friday, we just started chatting. And okay, I was, shoot and the breeze. I, and I was struck by um, how charming she was. So charming. And we got talked about New York, and I lived in New York for a while. And we went um, to NYU. And we found we had a shared love of musicals. Yes. And I was going to New York a few weeks later, and I asked her if she could share with me some musicals that she thought were good, so I could see it. And then I thought to myself, well, I don't know anyone that actually likes musicals anymore, so why don't I ask Nancy, who seems really charming, she go to a musical with me. <laughs> and so we did dinner, and then we went to the Tina Turner musical, and then we went to drinks afterwards. Mm -hmm. And then we did basically like three more dates in the next week between New York and Atlanta. Yeah, it was lucky timing because yeah. I was in Atlanta then for work right after that. So we had dinner the very next week. And then I told her I was going to be near New York. By near New York, I meant yeah. Washington, D.C. Yeah. And so I would come up and see her and she was like, this guy's probably crazy. No, but that's when I knew he liked me. Yes. That's when I knew because I was like, okay, you're going to be in D.C. and they're just going to like swim in New York. Yeah. Sure. Okay. But when he came to New York, he was like, oh, I, I got you something. And he, That's right. yeah, he had done a tour of the White House and he got me an ornament. And Nancy loves Christmas. Loves. And so, uh, and ornaments. First of many traditions. But yeah. that, that is how it all That's started. That's I was like, what and else? here we are. And here we here. are. Yes. This is our wedding. gather in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage, to witness the joining together of Alex and Nancy, to surround them with our prayers and to ask God's blessing upon them so that they may be strengthened for their life together and nurtured in their love for God. grade and we're fast best friends. I met Nancy freshman year of college. We hit it off because we were both one of four girls. I knew Nancy and Alex before they knew each other. I went to school with Nancy and we both worked with Alex. I had the fortunate pleasure of getting to work with Alex for quite some time and then Nancy and Alex came out to visit us in Seattle and our daughter, <laughs> to be honest, fell in love with Nancy <laughs> and talks about her Still to this day. Still talks about her, yeah, to this day. I knew he had really met someone when, and the conversation he, he said, hey, I met someone, and he sort of summarized with, but we're gonna need to negotiate our preferences for home decor. And I was like, hmm, that's a really that's a, odd, that's a, that's you know, a, entree to, uh, hey, I met somebody. So I was like, this is gonna be serious, you know. And it happened fast. Western Civilization class. Yeah. I would go to my locker between classes and I would find roses and notes from Javier. We met physical science before ninth grade, summer school. Summer school. I think once we started dating, I think we, at least for me, I knew pretty quickly. Aww. We met at work. <laughs> First day of orientation, Yorba Linda, California, 2010. The World Cup was going on. Jen was into that. I he, pretended to be. And then we worked together. We ended up sharing a cubicle while yeah. we were dating. Yep. Shared but work just was like, you guys can share a cubicle. You seem to get along. So it was in New York. Uh, I lived four blocks south of this bar. He lived 
four blocks north of the bar. Matt had just had a breakup and he like was like trotting out a bunch of guys for Matt to kind of like test out. And uh, I guess I just kind of, I, 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 I tested out That's the, the test. best, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna tell the truth. <laughs> it's a bit scandalous. <laughs> we met in college when he moved into my boyfriend's house. And then fast forward about nine months, and that boyfriend was by the wayside. Right? That's right. Scandalous. This good looking guy came and introduced himself to me when I was in the student center, and he said, he was a uh, roommate of one of my friends. And we started chatting, and the rest is history. Yeah, 46 years ago. And we had the benefit of getting to hear some stories about y'all last night. I won't repeat all of those. We were assuming that was a safe place. But one of the things that has been known and will continue to be shared is how each of you individually have loved your families and your friends and your communities that have been so important to you so well. I, Alex, take you, Nancy, to be my wife. I, Nancy, take you, Alex, to be my husband. And I promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife, to be your loving and faithful husband, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, to love and to cherish with all that I am, with all that I am. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Before God and in the presence of this congregation, Nancy and Alex have made their solemn vows to each other. Therefore, I proclaim that they are now husband and wife, those whom God has joined together let no one separate. I invite you to turn to your friends and family. It is indeed my honor, my pleasure to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brakebill. Nancy, for the first time, first look today, I was really just blown away. And I had practiced in my mind I was going to say wow, but it actually came out completely naturally, and, and I was stunned. Um, and I was really, truly surprised when I saw her, and, and I'm so happy to be with such a beautiful wife, and we are going to be so happy together. Um, thank you, and cheers. Coffee meets bagel. We're both working in London. In a... New York, actually. London? New York. You were in New York. Thank you. Somebody's been enjoying the cocktails. Why don't you go first? I'll nod if you're correct. You're saying you don't remember our love story? I mean, I remember it, but... <laughs> so we were volunteering together at the same summer camp, and we were both dating different people at the time, so we were just friends at first. I eventually called you and asked you out right before I was going to go play dodgeball with a group of middle schoolers. And I said, thank goodness, he finally got around to ask me out. And then he drove five hours to take me out to dinner. And yep. here we are. Here we are. Uh, well, I had been told that this guy was a really great guy and that um, I should meet him. So I went over to a friend's apartment and he came in with his friend and they talked to us for a minute and then walked out. So I thought, well, so much for coming over that here. Rude. That was pretty rude. But then you came back. It wasn't because we were uh, checking out and then departing. It was because there was something else going on. It was only, what, 45 years ago. So I don't remember the exact details, but. <laughs> yeah, we, and now we're... we have four daughters later and three grandchildren. And now Nancy and Alex getting married, and we're so glad 
They, they seem so happy tonight. It was a real blessing to see them. Thank you.